Hello there, welcome to the Football Block. My name is Brandon. Today we have a special video. We're gonna look at football kits or soccer jersey collections, whatever you wanna call them. First, we're gonna look at mine and then we're gonna look at some other people's. And if that sounds interesting, then let's hop right into it. So the way this video is going to work, the structure of it, is that I'm going to go first and then we're going to have some other guests, some other friends of the channel they are going to show their kit collections, talk a little bit about themselves, and we have several categories. So we're going to give a brief history of each of our collections, then we're going to talk about the first kit we ever bought, our favorite kit, our all-time favorite kit, the kit we wear the most, and our most obscure slash weird or strange kit that we have. So. Without further ado, let's start off looking at my collection. So as for me, I've been collecting soccer jerseys since about July or August 2014, right after the 2014 World Cup. And that's when I really started to get into soccer and become a fan. Now, I've been playing soccer my whole life, but that's when I really started to watch it on TV and really start to follow the professional teams and things like that. In total, I have 55 soccer jerseys as of recording this video. and I plan to grow it even larger. I collect a bunch of jerseys multiple times a year, and I try to get teams that are obscure or not really well known in my area, you know, and obviously jerseys that just look cool. I like to wear them as shirts when I'm out and about at the store or at, at parties, things like that. I like to wear soccer jerseys. I'm always known as the soccer jersey guy among my friends. Um, and obviously I'm a Barcelona fan. I'm also an American. So lots of my jerseys tend to be of those two teams as well as of specific players that I like. All right, now this is the first jersey I ever got. It is a 2014 World Cup Brazil home jersey. Got it when I was 14 years old. I got it at a, I believe a sports authority, which is a store that no longer exists. And you know, it's an iconic shirt. It's the normal Brazil gold and green, but a lot of Brazilians obviously don't have the best memory of this shirt. It's often affiliated with, you know, the 7-1, David Luiz, Dante. Uh, some famous players wore this shirt. Neymar, of course, as I mentioned before, David Luiz, Thiago Silva, and everyone's favorite player, Fred. I personally really like the shirt. You know, it's an iconic shirt. It's, you know, it's simple. It's nothing too extravagant but you know, it's pretty classic. It has some pretty nice features as well on the back of the badge and in the back of the shirt. My only gripe about it is it doesn't say the word Brazil underneath the badge like past Brazil shirts in the past have done, but overall it's a nice shirt. It's my first shirt and I used to wear it almost at least once a week during high school. So, uh, so now this next shirt, this is my all time favorite jersey that I own in my entire collection. This is a 2014-15 Barcelona home kit with Messi on the back, who of course is my favorite player. As I said before, I'm a Barcelona fan, and this shirt holds a special place in my heart because this is, in my opinion, one of the best teams I've ever seen. This is the trouble winning season where Barcelona won the Copa del Rey, La Liga, and the Champions League. MSN at their prime, they're playing some beautiful football. And overall, it's just a really nice shirt. I mean, I love how the, the stripes are wide. They're not too skinny, but they're not too, too wide and the colors like the dark red and the dark blue it just fits perfectly especially you get the little catalonia flag right here in the front and then of course the golden names on the back fits perfectly that is why this is my personal favorite jersey i don't wear it as often as i used to because i don't want to mess it up i'm always afraid i'm going to spill something on it but i did used to wear this all the time all right so this next jersey right here is the jersey that i wear the most this is 2017 18 barcelona home kit nobody on the back just a plain jersey and i like this jersey a lot because it's 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 kind of creative you know it looks kind of like a spider-man design where it kind of fades into the stripes in the middle it's not my all-time favorite design but it is pretty cool and it's a nice fitting shirt i feel like it fits me nicely now i also wear this jersey a lot because there's no name on the back and it's a Barcelona shirt. So there's no name on the back. I'm not really afraid of getting it dirty or getting the names uh, scratched up or anything like that. And also, since I'm a Barcelona fan, whenever Barcelona has a game, I try to wear this you know, to support the team, show the colors when I'm at school or class or work or at, out and about, something like that. Um, I've worn this jersey so many times that it's starting to you know, get a little frayed on the edges. 
some of the letters here are starting to peel and things like that. Barcelona this season, they're all right. You know, obviously the season's tainted by the Roma comeback, but they did win La Liga. They were pretty good in La Liga. Some famous players that wore the shirt, obviously Messi, Suarez, uh, Dembele, of course. This was Iniesta's last season. Uh, Umtiti played pretty well this season as well. So beyond that, this is my the shirt that I wear the most. So for our last category, we have the most obscure jersey of our collection. Now this is a Colo Colo 2016-17 third kit. Now if you don't know who Colo Colo is, they're one of the biggest teams from Chile. And this isn't even the home kit, this is the third kit. I found this in a Ross, and I don't know where it came from. Colo Colo is a popular team in Chile, not really outside of South America. There's not a lot of Chileans in this area. I have no idea where this came from, but it is a beautiful jersey. I really like it. I wear it a lot. It fits me really nice. And you know, it just looks cool with the, the faded stripes here at the bottom, the bright red color. And then I think Cola Cola's badge is also pretty cool. Now, as for this season that they wore this kit, I'm not gonna pretend and talk like I know a lot about Cola Cola. I don't. Some of the players that wore this jersey were uh, Opazo, Jorge Valdivia, and Paredes, who you know, you probably don't know unless you watch a lot of Copa America or if you're Chilean yourself. But yeah, this jersey, pretty obscure. I have no idea where it came from, but these are the jerseys that I like to collect. All right, so this one is a bonus one. This one is another one of the obscure jerseys I have. Now I have some other relatively obscure ones, but I wanted to point out this one specifically. Uh, this one is a Puma shirt from 2018. Uh, now Pumas is a big team in Mexico. There's a large Mexican uh, population in the, relatively near the area that I live in. So it makes sense to see a lot of Puma shirts in stores. However, this one has Nico Castillo on the back, who I'm not sure if you know, he was a Chilean striker. I believe he only played for Pumas for two seasons. Wasn't necessarily the best striker. Wasn't necessarily the best striker for Chile either. And I found this in a Marshalls and it was just completely random that they had a Nico Castillo Pumas jersey. They don't really have many jerseys with names on the back in general. I think actually this is the only shirt that I found with a name on the back. So I just thought it was so strange I found it. But hey, it's a beautiful jersey. I really like how it's kind of like an American football NFL style jersey. Because that's how Pumas like to go with their kits. Um, obviously Nike fits me pretty well. And I'm one of those guys that really like the kits that are covered in sponsorships. Some people don't really like that. I personally do. And as you can see, this one is obviously covered in sponsorships. So anyway, that was a little bonus for obscure jerseys. What's up guys? My name's Joe. I am an associate of the football block and I am participating in a jersey collection video and this is my most of my jerseys that I've collected over the years. I started collecting jerseys basically as soon as I got into watching soccer and playing FIFA. So when I was about 10 or 11. Unfortunately, most of those jerseys have been donated back to the places that I found them. For instance, when I was 10, I got a lot of jerseys from the Salvation Army. One, for instance, is a Francesco Tati jersey. Another one, I found a Rangers jersey. And these are all jerseys that I wore a lot of when I was little that I don't wear now. But a lot of these jerseys, as you can see, a lot of European teams, a lot of players. I have a couple of Mbappes. I have a, a couple of Tony Cruz jerseys because these are players that I really like and I like to model my game after. Um, I'm always expanding my jerseys. I recently bought a lot of these ones over here. And I usually like flashy colors and interesting patterns and yeah, that's about it. And let's go into the individual jerseys I'd like to talk about. For this jersey, I have a Real Madrid kit home jersey from the 2014-2015 season. This jersey I wore, if you can't tell, a lot. As you can see, most of the numbers on the front, Fly Emirates are peeling off. The logo, even at the restitch it because it started to peel off. Back, my favorite player at the time, Tony Cruz. Like I said, I really like him. I love everything about how he plays, an expert passer. This is coming off of right after he won the World Cup with Germany, and that was one of my favorite ever teams to watch. So that is why I got this kit. Additionally, I really like the pink trim, and I really like this like subtle little texture right here going across. If you can see, there's these little lines going across. 
And I don't know, something about it, how it was like deliberately not congruent. If you can see, there is another line that's going down that kind of slants in a couple different directions. And it kind of reminded me of like modern art. And this jersey I wore, especially in the beginning of high school, so much. I played outside with it on. I played pretty much at, at least once a week with this thing on. So this thing is basically destroyed. It's out of my rotation, but this was like my favorite jersey to wear. This jersey is a 2017 United States National Team Gold Cup jersey. I really like this jersey. I wear it a lot, especially now. I went from the Tony Cruz jersey to this jersey being my most worn jersey. I wear this a lot when I'm playing outside or practicing. It's also kind of worn down. I love the stars on the side. They're barely even visible anymore, but I really like them. I really love the new American logo that they started implementing right around that time. And I really like the dark blue and red stripes. I always, I'm always gonna be somebody that prefers like horizontal to vertical stripes, so they call them hoops. So this jersey is interesting because uh, the team at the time, the United States team, it was kind of in between the generation of like the 2010, 2014 era and the new generation. So you had a lot of young guys and this team in particular, they well, there was a rule in this uh, gold cup that allowed the United States or any team to uh, switch their team basically halfway through. And the United States had a lot of young players that started out in the team. And once they got to the competitive stages, like in the knockout rounds, especially the semis, they would bring in their star players like Clint Dempsey at the time. But it's, this jersey represents the United States and their championship winning team of the Gold Cup. And I really like it. I don't have a really obscure jersey. I have a few that have unique features or weird kind of stories about how I got them. This one, a 2006 Germany kit. I found this at a, uh, a local kind of secondhand store that usually doesn't have soccer jerseys when I was very surprised. It's in very good condition. It's kind of baggy, which kind of represents the time period that it, rep that, uh, it was existing in. Uh, this mid 2000s era had a lot of these really cool Adidas shirts with the little stripes going up and the cool little logo here. I really like that. Another jersey I find uh, to be kind of weird is on face value, this Chelsea jersey looks normal, but I realized after a couple of times wearing it that it has two champions, I mean, uh, Premier League patches, and it's also a bullion jersey. So that's another kind of player people forgot about. I really don't like this jersey much because I really love the Samsung, but now they have, in this era, they had the Yokohama tires, which is okay, but yeah. Just weird that it has the two logos. I didn't notice until kind of a few times wearing it. And this is a 2019 jersey, by the way. And the last jersey I want to talk about is this Isco jersey, which probably looks like a normal Isco jersey from a distance. Um, I actually bought this on like eBay from like China. And if you get a little closer, you can probably tell it's fake. And now you can definitely tell it's fake. Just the simple made in China thing. Isco, I really like. This jersey, fake. It came with shorts that I actually wear today, but I wore them so much that the numbers peeled off. But yeah, I just found this funny. And honestly, at the time of me buying this, I didn't even think twice about it. I thought, hey, $20 soccer jersey, that's a steal. Well, turns out it was fake, but you look from it from that distance it probably looks kind of real so maybe they did a good job so that's my obscure jerseys my favorite jerseys are both player jerseys and they are both jerseys that are of champions league and world cup winning teams this first one is the ac milan 2007 champions league winning shirt ricardo kaka this was at like the height of his powers I love this jersey. I love the gold trim and the Champions League insignia right here. I love, again, as I was talking about with the Germany, this era of Adidas, especially with the really baggy shoulders, the cool logos right here. I love the black and red. This jersey I love so much. I really don't like wearing it because I don't want to damage it. And my other jersey, which has a lot of value to me that I just got, is a 2010 Fernando Torres World Cup winning finals shirt 
It's a beautiful red, beautiful Spain red. There's Taurus on the back. Lovely logo. Fernando Torres is my all-time favorite player. He got me into soccer. I used to be a forward and I modeled my entire game after him. So this meant a lot for me to find and I will make sure I cherish it forever. And it is a beautiful jersey. And look at that. I love this World Cup logo. This was like my all-time favorite World Cup ever because this is what kind of propelled me into soccer. So this is my favorite jersey, Fernando Torres. All right, hello. My name's Oscar and this is my collection of soccer jerseys over the years. I started collecting soccer jerseys after the 2010 World Cup. My favorite teams are Mexico and Cruz Azul, which is a team in the Liga MX. And I guess I'll start. So the first shirt that I collected was this one from the 2010 World Cup, the Mexico, Mexico away shirt with Guardado on the back, number 18. And this shirt only saw light during the first game versus South Africa, uh, the home nation of that World Cup. We tied 1-1, one -one, so I guess there's not too many memories to say about it, but it's a very nice shirt. I wore it basically the rest of that year. Um, and the shirt for the Gold Cup next year, which we won against the US 4-2 in an amazing comeback. It's pretty similar, except the sides aren't um, red and green like you see here, they're in gold. But yeah, no, this has definitely seen some wear and tear and it's one of my favorite soccer jerseys. So the 2010 Mexico World Cup shirt is my favorite for the purpose of this video, I will say. The Pachuca shirt I'm holding right now is, I guess the most interesting kit I have and also one of my favorites. It's just the most emblematic of like Liga MX kits uh, during this time period, just branding everywhere. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan for anything like blue and white, and this covers it right here. Um, it's just the branding down the sleeves and like down the sides. Uh, but it, it ironically works with the shirt, and I wear it, and I do feel like a walking billboard sometimes. But no, it's just um, it's the, it's the team of my dad's, um, well, the, in the city where, where he grew up. And it holds a lot of value because it's actually a gift from, from my grandparents too, because that's where they're from. So yeah, this is my favorite shirt. Next section, the shirt that I wore the most. Another Mexico shirt, but this time from the 2014 World Cup. Beautiful design on the front with the arrows, or like the sort of lightning on the side with the crest, the crest in the middle. Uh, it's the home shirt this time. And this actually did see more games. Uh, we played against, let's see, we played against Cameroon in this shirt and then against the Netherlands in that infamous moment when Rafa Marquez supposedly fouled Robin in the box to no era penal, but sure, there's no name on the back. Uh, but this shirt, I, I swear I wore it for like the rest of 2014 and like every single like dress down day at school the next year. Uh, it was a lot. <laughs> but yeah, this is the shirt that I've, that I've worn the most. And even actually during the 2018 World Cup, I didn't like the kids as much from Mexico then, so I just kept rocking this. Yeah, most worn shirt. All right, most obscure shirt that I have. Philadelphia Union uh, 2012 away shirt. So I got this after going to a game. It was the Union versus LA Galaxy. And um, I, um, I remember I, I told my parents like, hey, like I don't have any like Union stuff. Like I should get a shirt. And unlike most kids, I went for the away jersey, which is not what most kids had. The, the home jersey is pretty similar. It's just navy blue mostly. And then the sort of goldish color down the middle but i got this because i just wanted to stand out and i didn't really like value it that much at first because when i went to school they were like oh looks like a mustard kind of you know color shirt but as i've grown older man like i i really do value this now because they don't make shirts like this anymore uh this is the old logo for the league and stuff and uh how the sponsors is so out there yeah no like i I wish that I still fit into it too, because I got this when I was 11. But yeah, no, this is my most obscure shirt because the Union I haven't seen since come out with a shirt in this sort of style or with the, like this base of a color, even though it is still the color on their crest. So yeah. So anyway, guys, that has been my football kit slash soccer jersey collection, as well as a bunch of our friends and guests on the channel. If you want to see more about soccer jerseys, if you want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comments. I'm thinking about maybe starting a series looking at each individual kit in my collection, because as I said, 
I have a lot. If you want to appear in one of these videos, let us know, reach out on YouTube in the comment section or on Instagram or our email, anything like that. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Brandon. This has been the Football Block. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with a friend, and I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day.